your local two weather authority forecast with meteorologist John Mayer. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we are continuing to follow more of that heat coming into our forecast. Really no surprise there. We're definitely into the summer months now, and it's definitely feeling like it out there. But here is one thing that we could be looking forward to if it made its way a little further to the south. We do have some showers and storms into the panhandle and trying to creep into southeastern New Mexico. Really, these are the only ones that give us much hope of seeing any rainfall, making their way down past Carlsbad, heading towards the Guadalupe Mountains. But that is about all the further they're going to get. Unfortunately, this rain, not something that we can look forward to spreading across West Texas. It's going to be few and far between because those high pressure systems are going to continue to keep us dry moving forward. That cold front not heading our way, not providing any relief, and that means more of that heat moving forward throughout the rest of our forecast and really throughout the next seven days or so. We're going to continue to crank those numbers up. Now, we are looking at another chance for at least a couple of showers into southeastern New Mexico over the next couple of days, but really that is the extent of our activity otherwise clear, dry, and warm out there all across the rest of West Texas. Our hour-by-hour -hour forecast not bringing in too much activity anytime soon, but just off to the east, very different story. We're continuing to track Tropical Storm Colin making its way up the eastern coast, issuing tropical storm warnings for coastal Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. The good news is, though, by tomorrow, it'll start to make its way out to sea, then pushing into the North Atlantic, and finally making its way out of our forecast entirely, no longer making any landfall along the uh, United States coastline, and that's what we like to see, finally getting that storm out to sea. Now, currently still a little bit warm out there. Uh, really not too bad, though. 66 in Odessa Midland, 66 in Wing, only 57 in Big Spring, and 52 down in Marfa. That looks like a nice start to the day, but we got to take into account just how humid, how muggy it is out there with those rising dew point values. That's going to cause us a little bit of trouble, and once we get those temperatures into the upper 80s, lower 90s. It's definitely going to feel pretty rough out there by this afternoon. I think we'll make it to about 93 degrees today, seeing mostly sunny skies in our forecast. Over the next few, though, continuing to crank up those numbers. 93 goes to 94, and then we get up into the mid-90s by the end of the work week. Next week is when we really have that heat settling in, though, all the way up to 97 degrees for our high on Monday, and we're not going to stop there. Upper 90s, even a chance for triple-digit highs. A little bit later on next week, we've got some serious heat moving our way. Get ready for summer in a big way.